Welcome, you beautiful, crazy ass, tech junkie little weirdos. It is Rick from RickSkins.com. Title of today's video is Facebook Pixels Explained, a very searched and sought after topic on the interwebs. What are Facebook conversion pixels? Conversion pixels, whether they be Facebook, Google, or any other ad platform that you care to mention, track a specific action that is preset by you that's completed by your visitors. It could be a checkout, an add to cart, an opt-in, add to wish list, or a few other preset actions that are available to you within the platform that we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Now, rule number one, don't be a lazy ass. Conversion pixels can and are very useful in your online marketing campaigns. What can they help do? They give data on what demographics are completing the preset action that you defined. They help Facebook, in this case, optimize uh, your campaign for conversions. You can help, they can help you set a lookalike audience, which means that once someone completes that predefined action, they will, or Facebook will, automatically search for people within the same demographics and with the same interests in order to show that, to serve that ad to in their newsfeed. And they can help you retarget, which is huge in online marketing because on average, it takes a person about seven times to see something before they actually take action on that. So, set up the pixel. First of all, we're going to log into the Facebook Ads Manager. And once you are here at this facility, you're going to click on the Tools menu and Pixels. And the first time that you set your pixel up will actually take you through to set the predefined action that you want to track. In this case, we're going to choose create conversion here and we are going to track for standard events you could also set up custom conversions but I will cover that in a later training and here you'll see the selection of predefined actions that you have to choose from we don't want in this case add to cart to be tracked because there's nothing to add to the cart so we are going to optimize for leads and now your pixel is set up to track for every person that puts their information into your opt-in form so now all you want to do is view the pixel code if you're going to install it on the web page yourself or you can email it to your developer and once you have the code you just copy it here and be sure you copy it all and I'm going to show you how to install it on a WordPress website if you have not visited my blog you probably should be hogtied because there's a lot of useful information over there and a lot of edutainment you can also subscribe to my newsletter over there, and I promise that I will only send you inappropriate emails once a week-ish. So I'm going to go to my, my WordPress dashboard here, if you're using WordPress. If you're not, you should. And I have actually installed a WordPress plugin, which I will give you the link to in a PDF cheat sheet for Facebook conversion pixels that you can get by subscribing to my newsletter at the end of the video. And all you got to do is you go in here and you, you set it up once you first install it on all the post tops and pages that you want the conversion pixel to uh, be attached to. And that's the default settings are fine here. So now what we're going to do is go into our pages and whatever post that you are tracking and this is my home page here 
So, once the plugin is installed, it gives you this facility here where you can add your Facebook tracking, <coughs> tracking pixel. You just hit it in there and you go back up in here and hit update and the pixel will be installed on that page. <clears throat> now if you are a little bit advanced you can actually go into the theme editor here and place the tracking pixel within the head code and it will be placed on those pages as well. Now if you are using an HTML landing page and you need to download the HTML files and place the conversion pixel in the head of that document and that will enable the Facebook conversion pixel on that page I will cover that in a later training so what have we learned today we've learned that we don't need to underestimate the power of Facebook conversion pixels or any other conversion pixels with any, other, with any other ad platform. We've learned, don't be a jackass. Not really just about this topic, but that's in general. And we have learned to that we need to listen to Rick. Just let it happen. All right, now, I want you to head on over to my blog for a corresponding blog post on Facebook conversion pixels. There, you can find more information about how to set up your conversion pixel, and you can subscribe to my newsletter for a free PDF cheat sheet on how to set up and install conversion pixels. And if you are a female between the ages of 21 and 64, depending on how much tequila I've had at the moment, you may get my attention. <laughs> I will see you all over there.